What's going on everybody, it's Brett Pro Angel here, bringing you today another deck profile, this time it's Synchro Eldridge. Uh, I just got back from locals, I almost won the whole tournament, I almost went undefeated, I lost last round game 3 to time, and that's horrible. So without further ado, let's dive into it. We got 3 golden boys, he's standard. Um, Eldridge is the center of the deck, so um, I don't understand why people run two, you need three. Next, we have the main <laughs> core to the engine, it's Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron is so essentially important, you can use this one card to create a full board. So, you know, don't sleep on this card because this card can do some really good things. Next, we have two O-Lions. Some people only run one. I choose to run two because it's good if you draw one and you end up with one in your graveyard. You can use the graveyard effect to bring out one. So then next we got Despot001. I only run one of him because I only feel like one's necessary. That's all there is. Next we got three Nibirus. We're on to our hand traps. Um, three Nibiru is so essential because there's so many combo decks. <laughs> Need I say more? Um, next we have the best hand trap in the game, and that is Ash Blossom Joy of Spring. This card can stop a variety of different decks, and it's so versatile. Next we have three Effect Veiler. I really like Veiler this format. Um, Veiler is just counter so many different decks right now. So. Next, we have two Moonlight Chill. Moonlit Chill. She is such a good card. Easily my new favorite hand trap, mainly because the artwork. She's so good and playable. Next, we have Phantasme. Uh, Phantasme, I choose to run him in this deck because it's a Holly Fibrax format. Like most decks are running Holly Fibrax, they're going to link summon at least one time. And Phantasme is so good. Helps you get an out. <laughs> All right, now we're on to our spells. We got three tunings. Um, this is a must in the deck. Uh, Jet Synchron is just one card, full advantage. Um, tuning just and it enables that to happen, plus milling potentially a Golden Lord card. Um, next, we have our Golden Lord cards, uh, Cursed Eldland. Um, this card, <laughs> I lost a couple games. Ended up winning the matches, but I lost a couple games because I paid life points. That's just horrible that's actually how I lost the last round um, and then we got these guys um, they're so necessary these are staples but I would say they're one ofs for sure <clears throat> next we have trap cards we have our Eldridge engine three sanguine sanguine is necessary I hope they don't hit this card to one but it's probably very likely um, Sanguin just easily just can give you so much advantage. It's just ridiculous. Um, next we have our Conquistadors. Conquistador is easily just, if it wasn't for Sanguin, this right here would be the best card for Golden, Land, Golden Boy. Because this just pops a card for free. Um, you just have to have Golden Boy on the field. It's just such a good recursion. And it also just has a good effect as well. Not only that, but it gives you a monster that you can use to link. Then we have our other one, Conquistador. And, or, I meant Hot Quero. Uh, Hot Quero is just so good because, um, like, today, for example, when I played against Dinos, um, I was able to just use Hot Quero to banish, like, any card from the graveyard. If they go Miscellaneous Source, I can banish their Miscellaneous Source. And also we got, you know, the one of um, Golden Land Forever because this card can just lock your opponent, but I wouldn't say you need more than one. All right, so now we are on to our extra deck. Of course, the one Link Karibo, one Link Ross, and one Barricade Borg Blocker. These cards are very essential, essential for the main combo. Um, Link Rebo just gives you all the combos, Link Cross just enables them, and Barricade Board can get you your spell card back. Um, then we got, you know, two Halle Fibrax. Hopefully, <laughs> I mean, I kind of hope this card does get banned, but as of right now, we run it at two because it is so good and necessary. 
Next we have two Aurorodons because Aurorodon is just so insanely broken. This card is probably more broken than Holly Fibrax, honestly. I mean, if you banned both of them Konami, I would not be mad. Okay, next we have I run a unicorn and an access code. Access code standard. I run unicorn for the sole reason um, it just eliminates so many threats that you may want to get rid of. Um, your opponent just doesn't have many answers to this because they don't know you run it. Then I run one formula, one metal marcher, and one herald. Um, need I say more formula is very easy to make you draw a card metal marcher I actually don't run uh, use it too often But it's good when I do run it and then we got heralds of course Omni negation uh, a cell synchron is just really good part of the combo as well as TG librarian and then Borolode savage the savage and this card is probably easy the best synchro in the deck and I will even show you as much as the side deck today because I want to show you how I'm counteracting these other decks because side, de side deck is just so essential because you're going to have to side deck against your opponent in this current day and age. So to start I run three gammas and one driver because gamma is easily one of the best hand traps in the game. Uh, it negates and destroys. The only catch is you can't normal summon or set this monster. So with him being a tuner, you know, if you could at least normal summon, that would that'd be nice. But that's it for that. Next we got, we run three Cyclones because um, we do run Conquistador so we can out Mystic Mine. But we might, and Alter Geist is also a thing now as well. And the Mirror Match, Cyclone's necessary. Then we run Call by the Grave. Uh, this card won me a few games today by banishing their key components in their graveyard. Uh, it's very important, especially if I like lose game one and go game two. Um, it's really important. And then we run two Lightning Storms, mainly because Altergeist is a thing. And people want to counter you. So when they side deck against you, Lightning Storm just takes care of it. And then we run three evenly matched. I remember opening up two evenly matched today and they actually paid off. <laughs> it's just funny how things work out. Evenly matched is a good card. Next we run three tokens. <laughs> actually four. So yeah, um, I really hope you all enjoyed the deck profile. Um, that's all I have for today. I lost the last match, game three, last round because of time i had full combo and i paid 800 life points so that's thank you all for watching um like comment subscribe brett pro angel out